This is Shay J today, and this is my train of thought. For one, New York originally just came to me as an idea as far as uh, with it being the birthplace of hip hop. It's one of them places where I feel like, you know, in order to kind of show that I'm really taking my craft seriously and I want to be somewhere where it's, you know, where, where the respect for it is very high, you know, rather than just being in my same general area where, you know, um, where you can where you can work to become bigger. So I don't want to be a big fish in a little pond type deal. You know what I mean? I always want to be at some position of uh, <clears throat> some position of being. Of, of, of just improving self, but to really get to your point, man, um, coming to NYC just kind of came to me as a general thought. Like I, I remember randomly saying it to my homeboys, like, "Yo, man, I think I'm gonna go out there and rock some shows." You know what I mean? Like, and and uh, it's, it was kind of a joke, like, "Yo, you know, this, I, I think it's time to go do something out there because motherfuckers don't take shit seriously here or take me seriously." And um, <clears throat> that off rip after talking to some people, they were just like, "I was just like, yo, fuck it, I gotta do it." You know what I mean? My producer called me and was like, yo, like, what we got to do to get you out there? Because I was calling him back, like, at one point, like, I don't think I'm going to make it happen. He was like, nah, we got to make this happen, bro. Yeah. He was just a kid with a dream, but nobody believed. I put my heart in these pages, but they ain't seeing my artistry. Emotions is lacking in these days, so it's hard to see my life through these verses. Every word is a part of me, but they can't see. Vacancies is the reason they disbelieve. So when this heart and mind is where the dreams lie lately, creating reality from what you thought was make-believe. From turning the make-believers to people who may believe. The kid with a dream. Hey, he was just a kid with a dream. Uh, check it. He was just a kid with a dream. Nobody believed, but he was just a kid with a dream. He was just a kid with a dream. In the hood, he was relegated with niggas, this niggas. Just because you speak educated. Too nerdy for real niggas, too real for the nerves. So respect only came from those who can see through the blur. Had a way with the words, but nobody can curse. So he used nouns and verbs to write the pain of the curve. In the struggles he seen. Just a minute to team. Painting the ghetto picture of what was yet to be seen. Just a kid with a dream, born in the pot to piss in with visions of optimism. The shit was never known to be given. No heavens in the ghetto for creation such a pedo. Ash risen, the phoenix still rises out of that meadow with broken glass. Bullet holes, lick the stove. Now and latest condom rappers full of future coke. Can't crack vapors, fresh shakes, Cadillacs, six folks. Get the paper, it's hard to be greater when he was only just a kid with a dream. Yeah, he was just a kid with a dream. Hey, he was just a kid with a dream. Nobody believed, but he was just a kid with a dream. Uh, check. Listen, hey, is it me? Is it me? Or is it that I feel I'm getting closer to my dreams? Go, I believe. Bound to take over the world like Monopoly. Slowly turning my visions to self made prophecies. Feel it in my spirit that this rap is where I'm bound to be lack of sleep. And I'm working so hard that I forget to eat. I care less about the money and the fame. I just want to make sure that my family is straight before I'm reaching heaven's gates. Give me a plate of wings, cornbread, rice, Alice Rose baked beans, uh, soul food. I need it where I'm going. If I hit the mainstream, I know the water's belly flowing, plus it's tank. As far as who is Shay J today, um, It's like that five-year-old kid who just never gave up on his uh, on the things he loved. You know what I mean? Um, it's the core of my being, man. The things that uh, Shay J today talks about is uh, it's his own personal experiences, given from given from life itself. But I kind of soak things up like a sponge, man. You know, I grew up around. I, I was I was you know, my family was there but I but one of the most prominent figures in my life, I, I shout her name out all the time, Alice Rowe, man, my grandmother, you know what I mean? Like there's levels of wisdom, you know what I'm saying, from from hanging around older people that you get to where it's almost like lifetimes, you know what I'm saying, of experiences, uh, all packed into one person. And uh there's a lot I learned, you know, just from being around such energy like that. Um and and and, and to give to answer your question, man, Shay J is a some for some he's known as a quiet observant character you know what i mean for some that may not understand him he may come off as weird or quirky in some certain way and for the people that really know him you know what i'm saying it's just the all out character <laughs> you know what i mean um uh it's it's I, I think people get sprinkles of everything what type of uh, inspiration do you get from from being in new york <laughs> damn <laughs> oh man it's too much bro hey we got um, time it's culture bro like it's so much culture here bro like when I first came here, man, like I'm from I'm from West Palm, man. I'm from Riviera Beach, Florida, raw for people that really understand. And um, 
you it ain't like it's like a small city within a big city. You know what I mean? Which shit compared to New York it ain't shit as far as size. But like when I got here, man, like where you can walk down the street in Palm Beach, ain't nobody out the door, you know what I'm saying? Shit going on. Like I'm an observant individual when I came in, I felt like it was an observation overload, you know what I mean? Like people fucking walking everywhere. LaGuardia is like a third world country, you know what I mean? I was like, what the fuck is that? How the fuck I get home? We got the my homeboy spot from here, bro. Like bitches like zooting past you and uh like the traffic motherfuckers beeping the horns, you know what I'm saying? Random animals, nigga like just seeing all kind of shit and I can't stop and be like, hold on, let me focus on this, cause this shit just going everywhere, you know what I mean? Um so that was the first thing and then like, you know, uh just the buildings, the landscape, uh it was just so much, man, and everything that you've seen in music videos, people here just looking at it like this is regular day, whatever the fuck and I'm like, nigga, I'm nigga, I'm here, dog, like Bitch, I arrived, you know what I'm saying? <laughs> like, nigga, this is, this is, this is that thing. It's like, it's like you reading. I don't really want to use it with the whole Greek God thing, but I, this is what I got right now. So, it's like when you read shit about Mount Olympus and, you know what I'm saying? Like, the gods of this and the gods of that, which, you know, to us, the rock hymns and all of that. But, and you actually arrive at Mount Olympus and it's like, oh shit, like, Nigga, this is, this is where it's at, bro, like, you know what I mean? This is where, this is the roots, you know what I mean? Uh, like, shots to Quest Love. Yeah, you know what I'm saying? So, like, that's how it felt, man. Like, wow, bro. The, the silence just in between that, you know what I mean, is everything that I was taking in. And hopping down into the subways and, and, and like, realizing that it's just, like, 10 degrees hotter than what you would imagine it to be. Um, so be prepared for that and uh, like just seeing how people are like are kind of like to themselves doing things but nobody really cares about what you do you know what I mean so if you really look at it bro New York is like a fucking canvas dog like in, in, in a sense of art form or whatever it's like a canvas you come here and you do what the fuck you want you know what I mean and hopefully something works out for you but you come here and you do what the fuck you want either they're gonna take it or they're not gonna take it and if not then you just keep moving and keep doing something that was one of the things that was really important to me man like all I saw was hustle everywhere I was at somebody got a hot dog stand somebody's passing out CDs you know what I'm saying and somebody's like uh, singing in front of like you know what I'm saying one of the stations stopped out like yo you know what I'm, saying? I'm looking at the money as I drop a dollar in like bro this is you know what I'm saying she's hustling for this money right now so she don't have to go answer to somebody bro like owning their own shit you know what I mean like that's the shit that was motivation to me bro it made me feel like okay bro you can't you know what I mean like like you come out here you don't come out here to bullshit you know what I mean? <laughs> like, you come out here to be about something, to make something with your life. And, you know, like how they say it, I know it's cliche, dog, but you can make it here, you can make it anywhere, bro. So it's like, it's, it was almost like a standard to put my, not even, I ain't even gonna say put myself to the test because I haven't come out here in that form, but just like to see what the stakes are. You know what I mean? To get an idea, okay, yeah, this is the study guy. You know what I mean? Like, you know what I mean? Come out here and absorb some things and realize what it's like, man. And, yeah, that's shit. That's like, like I said, being a small city dude, man. That's what New York meant to me. So, what's the inspiration behind the music that you're making right now? What's going on in your life that that you're putting out there? More or less, not what's going on now, but what happened because the album has been finished for a couple of years now, and um, I've I've definitely uh um, tweaked here things here and there, but. For me at that time that I was making it, man, I was at an all-time low. Um, I had just graduated college, you know what I'm saying? I had just came out of a relationship. And like, in that space that I was in, I was I, I felt like I had lost like a piece of my identity completely. Like I went, most people who graduate college, you know what I'm saying? They, you know, you graduate and you spend a couple weeks still in the city that you at, you hanging with friends, you enjoying the celebration, right? For me, it was like, bam. Shit ended, graduate the next day, I'm in Georgia, you know what I'm saying, with my fam. I haven't really hung out with them in years while I was gone. Um, not feeling understood, don't know nobody in the city. Just got out of college, so I'm broke as fuck, you know what I mean? Barely can even roam the city, you know what I mean, because of car trouble. So all I was stuck with was my own thoughts. 
you know what I mean? So I'm literally sitting there and I'm like, you know, I'm seeing the, the articles around that time. Like, yo, by the time you're 20-something, you should be this and that. And that shit's just eating at me, bro. It's just eating at me, you know what I mean? And uh, I, could, I felt like I couldn't talk to my friends from college either because I was in a space that was like a weird, it was just a weird space that I had to figure out myself. So what I started to do indirectly was like, okay, if I got to figure out who I am all over again, what's some of the principles of finding yourself? And the first thing I came to was like, damn, what's important to you? What do you value? And I literally started like creating like almost like survey questions and I would text friends and I'd be like, hey, I asked them, what do you value? And when they gave me those answers, like it helped me shape what I actually do value. Like, oh, damn, you know what I'm saying? That is important. Yeah, life, friends, circles. Like, you know what I'm saying? For me, hearing so, for like socializing and bouncing off of so many people, it helped me realize what's important to me. And I, and I think from there, I connected it to one of the things that's important to the world. Like, if you can really figure out what's important to you, then you'll figure out what you want, who you are, and what your purpose is. And I think that plays a big role in problems that people have from insecurities to anything, man, to a big level in life. So that's why I spelt it the way I did as far as the album title. But what inspires you period what 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 comes to you hmm. what inspires me this is how how i live my life inspires me man so yeah the general answer is life and everything else but i think perspective plays a role into how you be how you become inspired you know what i mean yeah you can sew things in but I try to honestly live my life like there's a camera crew behind me every single day and every moment of it, you know what I mean? Um, living by example in, in some sense and uh, taking in things, even if it's, you know, the, the smallest stuff, man. You know, um, the other reason why I'm a super observant individual, uh, life, family, friends, you know what I mean? The circles that I kind of, the people that I hang around really plays a big role in uh, influences for me, man, because I look at it like when I'm around somebody and I'm hanging with them, I am a documentarian and I'm basically taking in all the things that they're telling me. So it's not them talking to me, but it's like I'm basically the television <laughs> outside of body experience. Like, and I'm watching, I'm like, damn, so this is his perspective on life. This is what he sees to be important. How can I take that in and, and, and understand that in a way where, you know, it could be something that's projected later on, whether it's through music or whatever, you know what I mean? So uh, energy is very important to me, man. And as long as I'm around people that add on and don't take away, like, I feel like I can conquer anything. 